How's it going? Does, does much need to be said this week in terms of just, you know, you know what you got to prepare for. I know last season, you know, against Cincinnati, that was a game you'd like to have back. But mm-hmm. you know, the fact you're playing a team, you're a team that's ranked number seven, even beyond that, if you win, I mean, the conference championship, still some other things need to happen, but you can get right back in it with the win. Is, mm-hmm. is that something that is kind of in the back of your mind as you prepare for Cincinnati this week? I think it's just, you know, focusing on this week and then letting everything else play out. Um, you know, all our, all our focus is on Cincy this week and how we can prepare as best we can. And then, you know, when it comes Saturday, you know, obviously, you know, hash it out and play, you know, a good game. So. Dylan, along those lines, has there been much talk amongst the players about what the importance of this weekend and, and kind of maybe taking on the role as a hunter instead of the hunted? Of course. I think, you know, every single week, you know, we, we're talking about the game and, you know, how we can go out there and, figure out a way to win and you know that's that's all it is find a way to go plus one and then um, you know letting everything else play out so you know, that defense is still extremely good for Cincinnati much like they were last year uh, against the game when you guys played there uh, when you look at them now on film is it kind of the same defensive attack the same you know the, the, the same uh, you know the, the good pass defense the tough run defense a lot of the same thing, a lot of the same things you, saw, you guys saw last year too uh, for sure, they're they're a great team. Um, you know their defense is very strong. Got some big dudes, and then also just guys who you know chase the ball and are able to make plays. So um, I think it'll it'll be a good challenge for us. But you know it's a, also a great opportunity to just go out there and then you know shake, showcase our talents and be able to you know play. So um, you know we're going in with the same mindset as as we do every week. Prepare really hard and then go out there and, and find a way to win. So. Um, I think is like I said, it's just another opportunity. You know, they're obviously a great team, um, and and they play really hard. So it's it's going to be a tough you know deal on on that Saturday. But you know, we're going to prepare as hard as we can, and then you know we're going to go out and do our thing as well. So um, we're excited for the opportunity. You know, a lot of guys are focused like always, and um, we're going to attack this week like we do every single week. So. They're a strong group, um, super intelligent guys, and then likewise, you know, physically can can do everything we ask them, and um, also my best friend. So, um, you know, just having that, you know, camaraderie, and then also just being so close, I think it uh, it speaks for itself. You know, being able to just trust each other, and then um, also just go out there and and believe in in one another. So. Um, I, I'm their biggest supporters and also also one of their biggest believers and and you know I, I wouldn't take any other group you know in front of them so. Now, but what do you remember about last year's game at Cincinnati and how helpful is it that you guys don't have to travel there this year? I know there's obviously a mm-hmm. limited capacity uh, mm-hmm. stadium, but how big is it to have this game uh, at home against a team like Cincinnati? I think it's it's really great anytime you know you get a home game and are be able to you know play in front of Night Nation you know obviously you know the be- they're one of one of the best fan uh, groups in in the whole nation and um, just them being able to be there it feels good but also you know I mean with COVID going on even though it's it's not as much as we're used to I mean you can still feel them so that in itself feels really good but at the same time. Um, you know, wherever you play, it's 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 a football field. The same measurements, same everything. So, um, just being able to play at home is feels good with Night Nation. But other than that, it's it's the same thing. Just going after it and and playing ball. So. And Dylan, I think the defense is still a big storyline for this team, considering the, the, the turmoil in the last couple of weeks. But with the last two games, this defense has played extremely well. Just for you, uh, you know. On the, on, the, on the sideline, obviously, but just watching this defense the last two weeks, what, what's it been like to have that kind of support on the other side of the ball? Really good. Um, I think, you know, like I said, it's 
it's helping each other out. You know, it's, it's an ultimate team sport. That's what football is. You know, when one's struggling, and, you know, if the offense is struggling, the defense helps them out. If defense is struggling, you know, the offense helps them out. It's, it's a full team game, and I think, um, you know, when, when both the sides are clicking and playing very well, um, we can do some really good things. So um, it's, it's been really good, you know, for the defense obviously clicking, but at the same time, you know, I had a bunch of belief in them and, and their capability of what they want to do. And, um, you know, just as a squad, we, we want to be able to play to the best of our ability. So anytime we can see that, um, I'm proud of all of our guys. Hey, thanks, John. We'll wrap up there. Thank you.